Uh, we are the IEEE Robot Manipulator and Vision Project. My name is Ahmed Samara and I worked on image processing. My name is Will Duncan and I worked on, on the mechanical system and the servo cape firmware. My name is Sean Kettering and I worked on hardware. My name is Brett Goldbach. I worked on OpenCV and overall control. Uh, the main purpose of our project was to be used in an IEEE competition where a robot navigated a course and then sorted the blocks into the appropriate locations. Um, but more than that, it also demonstrated that robotics can also be used on embedded systems. Typically, robots like this are built on a factory floor and, and are stationary um, using large processors. But we were able to show that uh, given certain conditions, we can use it on a mobile embedded system on a moving platform. We have uh, the arm skeleton with uh, six independent servos. We have a seventh degree of freedom DC motor. Uh, which uses an encoder to accurately position the arm along its full range. Uh, we have uh, a variety of different circuits that we designed, uh, which both power the bot and also uh, control the servos. Um, we have our main uh, controller, the BeagleBone Black. Um, we have a, a DMCC motor cape that um, moves the motor and uh, controls the seventh degree of freedom. and. Uh, we have a camera as our uh, source of vision feedback and a, uh, an IR proximity sensor for sensing the location of the blocks. Uh, I, I think the biggest challenge of this project was uh, integrating all of the different parts because um, at the same time that we were doing our project, we also had to direct the IEEE robotics team, which was working on building the bottom half at the same time. Um, there were so many different people, so many different disciplines, so many different moving parts that all had to work together at the same time. And getting all that to work together, to work together was always a challenge. So the, the most useful project management um, skill that we had was uh, proper version control and enforcing standards. Um, there were times that we were tempted to cut corners and get lazy with just a quick fix. Um, and that always came back to bite us in the butt later. So enforcing standards all the time um, is always useful.